What is going on? I'm Zedmont. Now we're gonna go hopping right now, and the reason why we're gonna go hopping is because I am full boost on an 8 slash 2 account. Now, in these hits, I'm just gonna rush into them, see what I can figure out, and uh, do my best to help out a few task forces. If you have any questions about any of the attacks, any of the strategies, anything at all, please do hit me up in the comments. Um, this is going to be using the Hopper Network. I will include a link to their telegram group in the description below. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into our first hop. Okay, so for our first hop, we are in a task force called OG Boomers 2.0. If this is your task force, please do let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm gonna do Machina, Machina. I don't know how to say this. I always say Machina, but I think that's wrong. Uh, we've got one shock. Two shocks, three shocks, very simple. Machina, Machina, um, ah, I'm not even gonna say it. Very simple layout for this one. So we're just gonna walk, oh, someone beat me to it. Destructor, the beauty of scouting. So we're gonna move on to another map. Let's see what else they're doing. This is deep cut, by the way. Uh, Tech Crunch is just Gambit. I don't really wanna do that one. Let's have a look at Minotaur, see what they've got for us. Fairly standard Minotaur, but 1.6 million, which I probably can't do with only two troop damage statues. So I'm going to shy away from that one, try and pick something a little bit more suitable. Uh, Javanese would have been nice. Someone else beat me to it. Let's have a look at Conveyor. I really, really enjoy attacking Conveyor for whatever reason, especially when these four rocket launchers aren't here. But... Um, those rocket launchers are in place. I think, you know what? Let's just try something a little bit wonky. I'm going to try and solo conveyor. Um, we'll try to keep my future chatter down between attacks, but uh, we'll just see how this one goes. So what I'm going to try and do here is, actually, we have the barrage tribe. I'm going to try to barrage these rockets out of existence so that I can do an attack that I really, really enjoy. Um, we'll see if that's actually possible or not. Now, this is the beauty of having eight GBE statues. You can do ridiculous things like barrage rockets out of existence on deep cut and then still have GBE left over. So using the lines on shore, very, very easy drop on this side. We're going to do a two smoke drop. Very, very easy. I'll be very upset with myself if I screw this up. Now, we're going to walk right over into this corner, knowing that there is a laser pointing directly at our faces. We should be able to get back there nonetheless. I love these style of hits. These kind of hits remind me of like attacking Boom Beach in like 2014 or something like that. And that is why I like to do them. We're going to do a nice little gappy smoke back in here. And then we're just going to walk. This is going to be one of those ones where we clear basically all the way to core and anyone who's spectating wonders what the heck I am thinking. But I really, really enjoy these kind of hits. Uh, it kind of takes me back to like playing in uh, BB players with Ben Tim and Baxi and all of those kind of guys that I played with years and years and years ago. So we're just going to let these critters clear to core. Then we're going to walk in behind, or not to core, we're going to let these critters clear this sniper tower for a little bit of free GBE as we wait for our Zookas to walk forward. Then we're going to walk right to about here, hoping to stay away from all of those cannons that are down there. Shouldn't have a heck of a lot of smoke required. And then we're gonna, just going gonna to go double smoke into there, I suppose. Still have 47 GBE. That is why I love this 8-2 statue layout. And then um, I suppose we can go like this. And then a double shock right about there on top of all four of our mortars is exactly what the doctor ordered. And now we should just be able to clear towards the core and have our own nice little free snipe here. So... Let me know if you've ever done an attack like this, if you enjoy attacks like this, or if you think that um, it's all about just hitting the core and rushing your shocks as smoke expires. 
Uh, I'm really, really happy that I managed to get this attack in specific off because, like I said, I love, love, love these kind of hits and I feel like they've kind of gone out of style. Uh, it's sort of like free sniping Phobos or anything along those lines. I, I don't know what it is about these kind of attacks, but I really, really enjoy maneuvering my Zookas in ridiculous, ridiculous ways and blowing up a core. So um, that is my hit in OG Boomers. We managed to solo uh, Conveyor. It's kind of more of a uh, Foxtrot style base that you don't really see on Deep Cut very often, I don't think, but um, a fun hit. And I really, really enjoyed that and a great way to start off the video, in my opinion. So um, that's it. We'll be back in a sec with another hop. Okay, hop number two. We are in a random Arabic task force. I have no idea what those squiggles mean, but uh, there is the task force. They have started curtain call, and I want to do Commodore so bad. Now, sort of along the same lines of old school hits, um, I love Commodore. I used to love it using one boat of heavies to get all the way to the back. Uh, we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to use Miss Brick. That is the one thing that is wonderful that has been added to this game. You no longer need to add uh, a boat of heavies. You can do this with all Brick. I think Brick will survive all of those mines. Um, I'm not 100% sure, though. I'm kind of tempted to throw a barrage. Um, and you know what? In fact, I'm going to throw a barrage right on the front corner of that boom cannon should get a whole chunk of mines. My only concern was that Brick wasn't going to make it through all of those mines and bad, bad things would happen. Now, on this version of Commodore, there are no cells to push the troops up against the sideboards, which is a little bit unfortunate. I really do enjoy when there's some cells there, but uh, not the end of the world. We should be able to get exactly where we need to just by using an extra flare or so. And as long as we know that the troops are going to walk in a bit of a wonky fashion, we should be okay. See how they don't, they don't walk directly to the wall? Not a huge deal, though. And now we need to let Brick catch up a little bit, because I dropped her a little bit late. And then up... Oh, she walked backwards. That could be a problem. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to throw one more artillery, just because Brick walked backwards, and I really don't want to lose all of my troops to mines. I think that artillery actually was a great idea, and I think it's going to save some of our troops. Uh, we still got 106 GBE. Again, this is the beauty of the 8-2 account. Now, you can shock basically everything with two shocks, but we're going to use an extra shock because of that um, shock blaster right there. That should get it. Going to throw as many med kits as we can just because it's curtain call and uh, keeping troops alive is an extra bonus. So two for two on the hop, like that a lot. Uh, Commodore again, old school base that I haven't done in a long, long time. Gonna tr maybe I'm gonna try and have a theme here. Maybe I can load up Ballast or Excel next or something like that. But uh, two for two on the hop. Uh, I will leave this with you and I'll be back in a moment. Just need to say my thank yous and goodbyes. Okay, we're back in third task force. This task force is called Elite All-Stars. Um, we're going to do a hit on, I believe it's Stronghold. Yes, it is Stronghold. Now, um, one thing on the on that note, um, I was talking in the thing about saying goodbye. I really, really think it's important when you come into a task force to hop that um, you say hello and um, wish them good luck and all of those sorts of things. So um, if you're wondering what I was talking about there, I like this. Just... Thanks for the hit. Um, ask them what they'd prefer, stuff like that. Um, I find that too many hoppers are too quick to jump in and hit and leave, so I try and make an extra effort, and I urge you to do the same thing. Let's have a quick look. This looks like a very, very easy strain to tractors. There's usually a um, shock launcher in here somewhere, maybe a rocket launcher. None of that stuff today, so we're just going to walk in and blow it up. That's my, uh, I think that's all we really need to do. Let's just do strange attractors. I don't, I'm just going to try and do bases that I don't get to do all that often. So strange attractors, um, is sort of a, I guess it's considered a new base. Um, it, I think it came when Forlorn Hope was created and, um, 
It used to have barbed wire for a while there, but uh, does not have it anymore. We're going to do a nice, nice javelin flare here, trying to get the ladies walking super, super skinny. And of course, two heathers decided that they're going to go around the outside, but we seem to be doing okay with that so far. Uh, we need to get a double smoke into the end there. And uh, that should get us in a fairly all right spot. Not super confident at the moment. Uh, let's throw a critter over there. We're going to shock both of these machine guns. And then uh, we're going to move a little bit to the left. Just because I really, really don't want to get my face burnt off by a laser. So let's use all sorts of battle orders. All sorts of shocks. I'm kind of concerned about this machine gun, so let's just throw uh, three barrages at it. We'll throw another battle orders out, and uh, that should do it for strange attractors. So, um, not the prettiest attack. I probably maybe could have brought Everspark. Um, I never really have a plan for strange attractors. I kind of just make it up as I go along. Probably maybe could have done a safety stop right about here because Brick got fairly. Uh, out front of the ladies, but um, overall pretty easy hit and uh, keeping the streak of three for three alive. And I will include failures if I have them. Hopefully I won't have any. Anyways, I will be back with hop number four. Okay, hop number four. We're in a task force called Paladin 2 or Paladin II or something to that effect. Uh, we're going to try to open up Boomtown because that's what they've asked for. Uh, this Boomtown is a little bit different. It's got all sorts of rocket launchers on the left wall, along with the rocket launchers here. And then uh, a damage amp, which is amping nothing, it seems, back behind the core. So we're going to do our best to get in there and do something helpful. Um, we'll see. Uh, this is not a hit that I am overly good at. A red arrow 23, I, th I think it's 23, is that the right number? Um, has a great tutorial on this. I've watched it at least once, and uh, I've he does this hit, or this hit shown. Um, that's how I know how to do it. I mean, um, other people do this a little bit differently. I try to do it similar to the way he did, uh, just because I found that it tends to be fairly successful. So we're going to throw a smoke. Right about there, we're going to drop bullet and brick and scorchers and all of those kinds of things. Trying to keep my troops alive. Smoke's a little bit on the late side, but we should be okay as long as there's no gap there. It looks like maybe there is a gap there and we're about to lose some ladies. At least one anyways. I don't actually know what happened there. Um, we're going to actually flare up and into here just because I want Bullet to taunt everything he possibly can. That's all I'm after right now, is just having Bullet taunt things. That's what Bullet... Uh, that's ex specifically why I brought Bullet along. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that he taunted absolutely all of those rocket launchers. Um, and I think it was somewhat successful. We've got most of the rocket launchers down, and um, we've got the machine gun down, and we're going to run all the way back into here, hopefully keeping all of our troops alive. Um, Brick, a bullet, I, I can never remember his name. Bullet is basically dead, which is a little bit unfortunate. But um, we should be able to get a little bit more out of him. That's my goal. Um, I don't actually know exactly where those rocket launchers range to. But we should be able to get somewhere... Should be able to figure it out actually. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna let them shoot this scorcher here quickly. And then once they do start shooting the scorcher, I'm gonna run away. There we go. There's the shot on the scorcher. And then we will flare all the way to the end point and hopefully keep all of our ladies alive. Don't really care about bullet. I th think he's probably going to die. Oh, look at that red mark on those ladies. Those ladies have the absolute minimum health required to stay alive. And then we're gonna go one and two into there. And hopefully, 
hopefully let those ladies walk right into the blind spot of the rocket launcher. And that should do us, I hope. Uh, we're going to shock this machine gun. And maybe, just maybe, let's keep running, keep running. Um, Bullet has died, which is a little bit unfortunate. And there's a lot of rocket launchers down below, so... Um, I don't actually know how this is going to go. We'll soon find out, though. Not entirely sure why those rocket launchers are shooting my Zookas instead of... Um, let's throw one more shock out and see if we can't... Uh-oh, let's throw two more shocks! I think we just lost all of our Zookas. You know what? We've got a couple Zookas left. And maybe, just maybe, they can get some, Zo uh, some rocket launchers down behind the core as our uh, Scorchers get shot in the face. Uh, let's barrage these mines over here. We'll barrage, we'll get rid of some of these mines in between this gap right here. Don't know where these guys like to do, um, how they like to do Boomtown. So we're just going to drop some critters, hopefully clear some more mines. Look at that, all sorts of mines cleared. Uh, we've got most of the rocket launchers behind the core. Not a bad hit. Not something that I'm terribly good at or do terribly often, but I mean, we got the left hand shields. We got one, two, three, four, five rockets, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, got some mines cleared, got some mines cleared. Pretty happy with that hit. So Boomtown on choke point and uh, I'm going to say my goodbyes and I will be back for hit number four or five or whatever we're into. Talk to you soon. Okay, we're on hop number, I forget what number, and they've managed to roll the base that I was hoping for, and that's ballast. So I'm gonna hit attack, I've already scouted it briefly. Um, I think I forgot to show which task force we're talking about. I will show you that in one minute. I like to do ballast a little bit different than most. I like to mark this front rocket launcher right in there, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Uh, first of all, we're gonna get rid of these mines as well. They tend to be an issue later on. And uh, that is very, very, very later on though. I like to come right into here. Uh, going left again, this is old school style. We are going to do a hit that I really, really like. Um, it's a hit that is very, very old school and uh, not something that you really see anymore because there's no real reason to do it. But uh, I like to do things a little bit differently, as you may know. And we're gonna get way away from all of the that rocket launcher as it comes backwards. Gonna throw some critters. We're gonna barrage all of these mines here, and we're just gonna do a full-on farming job. I love, love, love this hit. Again, this is sort of like that first hit where we're just gonna farm everything, and there are a ton of cells on the left-hand side to farm, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're not gonna farm all of them, but we're gonna farm a heck of a lot of them, and our critters are gonna help a little bit with that. And that's why I like Everspark on this hit. Eversparks passive critters are going to keep things alive. We're just going to keep walking. And again, this is one of those ones where people, anyone who's spectating is like, what the hell is this guy doing? Uh, hopefully I am not kicked mid-hit because um, this is one of those hits that you don't see very often. And that's one of the reasons why I like it. Ballast is one of my favorite maps to hit, um, specifically because it is so utterly ridiculous. Uh, let's keep walking back into here, let our critters finish off some of those cells, get us a little bit extra GBE. Now the critters dying is actually going to be a good thing as long as they're Eversparks critters, not the critters I've thrown. Everspark can only have 12 critters out at a time. There we go, she's going to drop some more for us. And now, it's pretty quick here, we're going to start walking because I really, really don't want to run out of time because that would piss some people off. So. At the 145 mark, we're going to flare right to there. We're going to drop a smoke. Keep some of our, actually all of our ladies alive. I don't think we've lost any yet. And then we're going to walk right into here. Now the reason why I use critters on those first mortars is because we've got a bunch of shocks we're going to need to throw here in a minute. And we're going to walk right to here. And we're going to keep all of our ladies alive, hopefully. Come on, one, two, into there. Don't laser me, please don't laser me. 
Oh, that was close. Now, this is where that first marking came in. We're going to get that one uh, rocket launcher to be shocked. And we're going to get this and this. Uh-oh, my shocks were way too late. Oh, no, this is ugly, ugly, ugly. This is not going well at all. Typically, uh, we would have done much, much more than this already. I almost screwed that up. Um, we might still be in danger, but I think we're going to be okay. Maybe, 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 maybe. We're in the rocket launcher's blind spot. Oh, this is not going terribly well. Uh, we need a shock right about now. Going to shock at the absolute last second. I don't have any flares left. We really desperately need all of those mortars to go down. That is what we're after right here. And I don't think we're going to get it. Oh, might get saved by that hack. We'll find out. I think this is going to be our first fail. Oh, man. Just absolutely obliterated. Um, not what I was hoping to have happen here. Let's flare this mortar and hope that we can maybe get it down. Oh, ran out of time. So, complete failure. That was very, very bad and uh, not executed well. So, um, I'm going to say my apologies and our streak of good hits has come and gone. Um, I'll be back on the next hit. Oh, I forgot to show that this is a task force called Steamboat. I think I forgot to show that at the beginning. Regardless, Steamboat, I apologize for my terrible, terrible hit. I apologize. I'm sorry. Thanks for your patience. I will make it up to you next time I come in. Okay, we're on to our next hop. This task force is called Love You. Now, they only have enough intel for uh, upper lip, so I have loaded all grenadiers, and we're going to try to use all grenadiers and solo a map. Uh, looks like we can do conveyor. Let's just get into it. We're going to try and solo with grenadiers. Hopefully that blue satellite in the bottom corner is actually my attack. There's nothing worse than sitting here and coming back into a um, spectate mode. Nope, looks like it was ours. Nope, no it's not. Someone's beat us to it. So, unfortunate. Let's, I don't even have any idea what scrap looks like. Uh, probably should not grenadier that base. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Tempting, but uh, we're not going to do that. Let's just do... Um, I guess we can do all heavies instead. Let's just do all heavies. And we will walk up and take out Scrap. Uh, not a base that uh, is a big, big concern here whatsoever. We're going to barrage this rocket launcher because... Uh, whatever, upper lip, I think it is, has basically no health. So we're going to get rid of that rocket launcher. Uh, we're going to get rid of this set of mortars, all sorts of GBE being used here. Might as well get rid of this uh, boom cannon as well. Just going to get rid of everything we possibly can, essentially. And then we're going to drop all of our heavies over into here. And uh, we're going to walk over back to here. What, I'm, what I want to do is get between those four rocket launchers. Maybe I should actually go between the four snipers, actually. Not entirely sure but a uh, little bit of and by the way uh, this task force was two intel short so I met I actually dropped intel in a task force for the first time in like ever as far as um, you don't typically drop uh, intel when you're hopping but I figured if we can get upper lip started it'll be worth it so that we can get some sort of uh, silly silly attack in and this is definitely into fits that description. So we're going to get all of our heavies right into the middle of those rocket launchers right there. Uh, I'm going to throw some a shock there and a shock there. And then maybe some battle orders. Battle orders to clear all of these rocket launchers as quickly as we possibly, possibly can. And then we're going to smoke our way over into here. If you're asking why I'm smoking heavies, it's just because I want to keep them alive as long as we possibly can. One more battle orders, and uh, I think that should do it for scrap. Fairly easy. Um, obviously, using a maxed account to attack a um, upper lip style base is not overly challenging, and that is why we've got all heavies into play here. So, um, 
silly, ridiculous, but uh, you've got to make things interesting where you possibly can. So all heavies versus scrap, sweet, sweet solo, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'll do one more, and then I figure that should be enough for uh, today. Let me know what you think about the hopping videos, if you enjoy them, if you enjoy the commentary or the hits or anything whatsoever. Um, just trying to keep things new, exciting, and interesting. That's an all-heavy solo, and just like that, upper lip is done. Be right back. Okay, well, last and final hop. We are in uh, Australia Army. Um, have hit here a couple times. Good, good people from what I've seen. Always nice to join a task force that speaks English for starters, but um, we're going to get rid of all heavies, not something we should be using again. Uh, thankfully, I did not fail on that one. That would be just a bad, bad thing. Now, Massive Attack, that's a nice way to finish it. A little bit higher level than the last couple we've done. Let's have a look at Fang, see what we can pull off here. Too, I'm not going anywhere near that. Too many rocket launchers. Let's have a look at Rogue, see what we can do on this one. Um, decent Rogue. Not feeling that, though. I don't want to have to deal with this. And uh, without knowing exactly how they like to do Fang or Rogue, I'm just going to stay away from those two. Manticore is not a base that I ever hit. I have, think I've hit Manticore like twice in my life. But you know what? Let's just check and see. Nope, never mind. It's being it's being hit already. Let's have a look at Ransom. A little bit of a strange Ransom. No rocket launchers back in here. We've got something like... Let's have a look here. We've got one, we could probably shock two rocket launchers and four shock launchers. I don't know that I want to try that. Let's see how much health we have here. 2.1 million, so I definitely cannot solo this with two troop damage statues. Um, I could maybe set it up for someone else to finish. Um, let's have a look and see, though. What else do we have? So no one's going near Fang or Rogue. Surprise, surprise. Uh, duality. Uh, I'm tempt I'm kind of, you know what? This is a 50-member task force. Let's hit Ransom. We will set it up. Won't be able to finish or even come close to finish. We're going to have one shock. I'm tempted to do that difficult shock. Um, two shocks. Probably uh, need to shock in here. Three shocks, four shocks. So um, shouldn't be overly terrible. Going to clear those mines, need to clear boom mine. Um, let's just, let's just go, I suppose. Uh, we'll just figure it out as we get into it and see what we can do. Need to get rid of those two mines right there. There goes the mine. Now, um, I'm going to throw a barrage right about here. I'm going to try to go a little bit north of center. Um, would have been nice to get a couple more mines, but I think we can finish them off with two more artillery. And maybe, just maybe, do some good work in there. Um, I We're going to use one, two, three, four, five shocks. Uh, it's going to be interesting. We have a hot beach. Again, this beach is the easiest one to do a two-smoke drop on. Use that line, and then off you go. Two... Three. And then we get all the rest of our ladies into here. Uh, we are going to drop brick into there as well, just because I want brick to clear two of those mines. I need brick to get out front and clear two mines. I did not even check what level they are, so I really, really hope that they are not level 22. And if they are, brick does all of the mine cleaning for us. A wonderful job. Miss Brick, you're going to throw a smoke right there, trying to keep the delay. If you don't know what the delay is by now, please, please do ask. I can't believe people still don't know what the delay is, um, but I have a video on it, so please do let me know in the comments if you need any assistance whatsoever. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, my shock was a little bit late, um, but we're going to throw a second battle orders out and just get as much of this as we possibly can and leave a little bit for the next person. Now, um, obviously we got all of the mines cleared, nice little path and three quarters of the core, so I'm pretty happy with that. 
Let's just check and see how much damage we did. Um, somewhere in the neighborhood with that 2.1 minus blah, somewhere around 1.5 million, which is pretty good for two troop damage statues. Just to show you my stats here, we've got 90% damage and 316% GVE. So that's it. That's all. Um, thanks for coming in and hopping with me. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it, didn't like it, thought I was doing something right or wrong or anything in between. So uh, that's it. That's all. I'm Zedmot. Once again, thanks for coming in and I shall talk to you soon. Peace.